one prayer that we want for ourselves, for our family, for our co-workers, for our nation, is greater prosperity in 2012. We want more jobs, we want more opportunity, we want things to open up again. It is as if the economy has been a, a pressed in spring with many people just waiting. Well, I pray that it launches forth in 2012. And it affects you and your family directly with its positive good. Joshua 1 verse 8 says this, Then you shall make your way prosperous. Well, that's what we all want. We're all going into 2012. Our way, though, I pray that it is prosperous. I pray that it's filled with open-door opportunities. And I pray that it's filled with abundance for each person making that journey. Then you shall make your way prosperous, and then you shall have good success how I pray that for you. I pray that this is a year unlike any that you have ever lived with God-given good. And I pray that you seize the year and seize the day and seize the moment so that you can have this. God created you to express an infinity of God-given good. And you can realize that dream that you are seeking. I don't believe you can do it alone. I've never been able to do it alone. I have pushed and I've shoved and I've tried to manipulate. <laughs> it's all for just wasted energy. But when I allowed God to come through me and to follow God's guidance and God's ways then I could realize my dreams, and so can you. Your part in the infinite plan is to hold in your mind the greatest idea that you can conceive of, and then to trust the divine working of God to bring it to pass through you. God will give you ideas, and the Spirit of God will draw into your life the necessary components of success. It might be people, it might be ideas, it might be new ventures to go towards, new paths to go down. You listen for the voice of intuition. It will reveal to you what is for your individual highest good. And you put this ideal into clear thought form until it gels in your mind and becomes part of you. You set your goals high for 2012, and through your faith in God, you expect mighty results. You do as it says in Joshua. And then, I shall make my way prosperous, and I shall have good success you realize that with God, all things are possible. And you understand that what you hold your mind and believe in is brought into manifestation with your partnership with God, with God being the first partner, and you constantly commune with God through daily prayer and meditation to nurture that which you're now seeking to be brought forth. As you keep attuned to God, spiritual ideas will flow in your mind, strengthening your concept and bringing you in ways that you cannot conceive of now to perfect success until it becomes an accomplished fact. I pray that this is True of me, true of you, and true of those that we love. Happy New Year, my friend, and it will be in God.